your base for your bait. From here you can do anything you want really. You don't have to put you don't have to put macro on it, but if you got any chaka, you got any sardine, anything you want, bonnie, it's a nice base to start with things, nice head bait. A lot of a lot of scent in it and I want all that to come out so put a lot of cotton on your base to make sure that you get the maximum maximum amount of juices out of it. stays on. Sometimes the lips can can like break and your dangle can come out. So this is just to ensure your bait doesn't get stolen or anything. Cotton right up there on the lips. Go. Close it off. Just for now. making cutlets rather than fillets because uh, at least I'm using the whole fish when you make fillets you get the uh, spine left and there's some meat on that and don't want to waste any of it also the spine has nice little blood in it you can see right in there blood 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 I want all that I think two is enough I don't want to make too big of a bait because it's a bit of wind coming I don't want to be able to I don't want to 
go too big and then I have problems casting it out. Take the big side. Mainly around the edges because when you're shaping your bait, you want it to you want it to mush and like not leave gaps anywhere. Let's go right around the edges of it. Also helps when your bait hits the water, little bits and pieces from this meat break off and then it disperses in the water. This I actually want to mush a little bit more because a lot of smell and scent in there. I don't like wasting anything. A lot of guys cut a lot from their bait and they throw it away because they want to shape it nicely. And I understand that but like it's expensive and it's hard to get sometimes. Like I went to Kings today and they had this huge mackerel but it wasn't it wasn't a nice mackerel, it wasn't fresh, it was a little froze freezer burn and stuff. But they had some nice yellows, yellow tails, so I took that. Hopefully we can go for a blackfin one day. Buddy of mine has got a nice nice spot down south. Hopefully when he comes down or comes back from Cape Town, we can hit it. Maybe show you guys a blackfin. Or show you guys how to bait for a blackfin. I'm not sure about catching things right now. So guys, it's a pretty, it's a nice ball bait right there. Not always the neatest, not, not always the neatest things. But you know what? If it gets the bite. It's all that matters. Yeah, let's tie this on. Don't go cheap with your chuck, with your, with your cotton. Uh, make sure you hold it nicely on. Make sure it's holding nicely on. Not a bad bait. I would like it if this, this knack was a little more fresher. But you know what? Can't complain. I'm getting a bait in some pretty decent water. Let's go for a cast. Best cost, but it's pretty decent. Went where I wanted it at least. So I'm using the Makaira, the new blue, 15 foot, and paired with a slammer 8500. Not gonna lie, I'm a little used to casting multipliers.